welcome to the third part of this refactoring uh, series, which is about tennis game. Um, we have uh, recently we have extracted the arbiter class, so arbiter decides which type of the result it is: draw, advantage or win, or ongoing result. So it, it's only the arbiter that knows about the uh, actual implementation classes from the perspective of this tennis game class. It's just something that returns score, so they all share the same API. But there are some smells, and I want to proceed with the smells again. Just a reminder, I'm not claiming this code is getting better, I'm just following the smells, and this way I'm learning about uh, the code and about the domain a little bit. So this is a smell, or, or keyword in a variable name, method name, or a class name, this is a smell, so this is problematic. And usually the, result, the solution is to have two classes, so whatever is the or thing is actually two things. And uh, the idea here is that we have advantage or win if this is happening, but we can make it like bigger. So what we want to have is something like this. Advantage result when something and win result when something, right? So that's what we, where we want to get. So advantage, okay, let's, let's just dupe it. Uh, so we want to have advantage result. Oops. And win result. So this is advantage result and this is win result. I think, again, I'm risking that this refactoring will be too big. Uh, so there are no such thing like this. So now I can copy it twice, make the first one advantage result. And the second one is the win result. And now what is happening is because it's a win result, I don't need to have those two. So indirectly, I've made this, I think. I improved the, this ugly um, statement here. And similarly, I don't need this part, right? So there is some similarity. Maybe I will take care about, of it later. It's better to have some a little bit of duplication, but at least at the conceptual level, things are different. And so this is now kind of, well, it's almost disappearing, but I really need this part where if the minus result is one or, or minus one is advantage, so the arbiter now has to decide. So I will remove this class soon, uh, but the arbiter has to know that this is uh, advantage if point is one of the points is bigger, but also if the minus result is equals one or minus one. So this will get uglier and and minus result, let's just inline this for now. Equals one, which is no. or is equals minus one. Okay, so this is ugly, uh, but we will come back to this. And it's win result where basically, how did you, how it was expressed in there? Uh, it's win when minus result is plus equals two or minus. Okay, so bigger. Or, or sorry, um, that was the thing, right? Okay, it, it wasn't really because it wasn't needed here, but I would prefer to have it explicit in there. Um, I will run the test, but probably there is something wrong. Let's see. Uh, win for player to expect it, but was love. Okay, so maybe I screwed up in this part.
think it is better like this. And like this. Now this one is closing the whole thing. And I need this. So just paranoid. I'm not sure if I'm correct in this thinking that. So this is no longer needed. Okay, let's start from the middle. This one is wrapped. This one is wrapped. This one is wrapped. Okay. Was that a problem? No, this wasn't the problem. Mm, advantage result. Advantage result, win result. Hmm. So we still have this win for player two is better, but law win. So win detection didn't work. Instead, we went there, so probably, so this was bigger, and we really wanted to know that the difference between those two is bigger than, equal or bigger than two. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so this part got uglier, but we are now more explicit in here. We have more types of results and we can remove this ugly part here. And I feel like we're getting close to the situation where I want to actually extract some of the code into separate files. Usually not a big fan of those you know, one class per one file convention which is popular in Ruby uh, and mandatory in Java, at least it used to be, but maybe this is okay. So now this is the arbiter class got really really uh, ugly with this part for now okay let, let's let's just stop for now so we have added like more explicit situation that there is draw result advantage result win result or ongoing result actually for ongoing result I would be happy to add um, an if clausule as well Mostly because the nice part with this code above is that if I did it right, I can easily do stuff like this. So I can replace the order of rules because there are the kind of like rules or guards. And this reminds me that one of the implementation techniques that is possible here is that I can wrap it into a rule. So if it's advantage okay so first of all maybe I can make it a method or immediately a class so advantage sounds now that the other thing is that maybe I can actually put it part of those classes but they are mostly because I could I could I could make them part of those classes uh, would it be good if draw result maybe as a class method maybe it wouldn't be bad but somehow whenever there's a class method there's a better solution with just you know extracting it to a separate class uh, draw rule okay let's try with a draw rule And now what? Valid? This makes it query method, but probably it's okay. Draw rule. Yeah, maybe. Let's see if this works. Actually, this is, this needs to be points one, points two. And then it becomes like draw 
will new valid points one points two. Uh, okay, let's. Well, maybe I should make it actually a constructor. Just we did it many times so far, so let's let's make it a constructor. This way, I don't have to pass those parameters here, and we can just use this. Okay, does it work? Okay, this seems to be working. Okay, let's just follow with this in that case. Uh, can I split it or do, do, does it break somehow? It probably breaks. I don't like those long lines and this is really ugly. So I need to find a way later on to improve on this. On this. But for now, let's just carry on. Okay, so we need to uh, win result, win rule. The oh, sorry, class win rule. And very often, you know, people would claim, "Oh, this is really a hell of small objects and so on." There's this problem. I'm, again, I'm not claiming this is really so great, but I'm trying to always fight uh, against this thinking that. Uh, that a new class is something that I should be worried about. Like new classes are fine; they're like almost for they are good if if they are right. Uh, I mean, no, if they make sense in the domain world, then they're they're probably good. Okay, uh, draw rule. So we just okay. So the last thing is the draw. Shit, I, I made it advantage rule. So that's advantage rule. Come on. Obviously, if you're more into f like having small functions instead of small objects, that's perfectly fine too. And now we just want to have this as a draw rule. And whether it's valid, draw rule. So the thing is, obviously the tennis rules, they don't change that often. So people would say like, it doesn't need to be uh, separated into another class because it never changes. So it doesn't make sense to separate, but the whole point of classes is not that whether they change or not, it's whether they are like consistently cons consistently a separate concept. Right, so for ongoing results we could probably do the same later on, but let's leave it for, for later not to make those videos for too long. Uh, so this is where we are so far. Still this is so, now probably I would like to put some love later for on this part, maybe, I don't know, whatever, you know comes to my attention to improve, I will try to improve this and learn uh, about this. So, but just to summarize, we didn't really change anything in this part, but now in the arbiter class, we did change it to detecting the results based on the rules, whether the rules are valid. I can easily swap those rules. So I can, actually what I can do is I can have a hash map of rules, which, you know, this would point to this. Yeah, that's something worth considering. Uh, anyway, so I, I've hidden I've hidden the details, right? I've hidden the details of the rules classes. So now we have rules classes, now we have and they're similarly like they, they share the same API, but it's hard to say they are they're not polymorphic really yet because they are used totally separate. But if I make a hash like later on, maybe this will be useful. Okay, thanks for your attention, thanks for watching, and see you in the next uh, video.